So how important do you think it is to actually demonstrate to your customers, your clients, that you care? Now, some of you might write that off by saying, oh, so this feels a little bit soppy and, and emotional, Alan. Well, okay, let me just lay out for you some of the reasons why customers actually leave your business. So you've been trading with them and then they leave. Why is that? Well, look, there are a number of reasons um, for that. The first would be 4% of people will leave due to natural attrition. So actually a business can die, a person can die, you know, that these things just happen and therefore they leave the business. Someone, someone might leave because a friend of theirs got in their ear, started telling them about kind of who they're with or a competitor of you, and they leave because they've been influenced in that kind of way. 9% of people will leave due to competitive reasons. There might be a good reason why your service is no longer as competitive as the one down the road and therefore people uh, go in that direction. 14% of people will actually leave due to uh, dissatisfaction with your product or service. So it didn't actually live up to what people wanted to and therefore they, they, they'll leave. Now that only really accounts for a third of the reasons as to why people would leave. The biggest driving factor behind people actually leaving your business is called perceived indifference. They think that you don't care. So hopefully that maybe shines a little bit of a different light on things uh, for you now, which says, okay, what are some of the things that you can do to demonstrate to your clients that you actually do care about them? I'll give you a really good example. When I first started in my coaching journey, I had a coach and he was a great guy, but ultimately I didn't feel that he cared. Let me explain what I mean. You know, we would have coaching sessions on a fortnightly basis. We'd have a really good coaching session kind of on week one. And then obviously kind of two weeks later, have another one. Now, I was going through an awful lot of firsts at the time. You know, first seminar, first client, first experience on a particular situation with a client. All these things were firsts. And I'm a soft bugger. So actually what I needed was just a bit of a kind of a how you doing, good luck, how did it go? You know, even if that was a quick voice message, a quick kind of email or a tech, whatever it was, something that said, I'm thinking about you. But there was nothing between session to session. Now, there's nothing wrong with that. That's just the way it was. But the feeling it left me with was, I don't think you really care too much. It's like, we're just here for the sessions. So for me, that was one of the big reasons to move to another coach who genuinely cared. And, you know, is, is in constant contact, not in a smothering way, but in a way that just says, look, how did it go? What's the update? How are you getting on? And for me, that's just little things that said that that person cares. They're really, they're by my side. They've got my back and, you know, they're there for me. And, and for me, that works. Now, again, you'll need to find out what are the things that you need to do with your clients to kind of demonstrate you care. But it doesn't have to be much more than just little notes in the diary saying, I better just check in with so-and-so, see how they're doing. Anyway, food for thought, I'm sure. Uh, but again, please just make sure that you can demonstrate authentically and sincerely that you do actually care. Otherwise, don't bother, you don't care.